what up what up what up this is mike the philosopher here with another one and this one is marriage and love huntsville alabama okay without further ado i'm not gonna hold you let's just go in previously on love and marriage huntsville you got a boo like you don't want to share no i don't you can't post pictures and think we're not going to ask questions. No, I, let me just be honest. I have no problem with you asking me a question the oh. same way I have no problem with saying none of business. This wasn't as productive as I wanted it to be. The business was interfering with our outside relationship. So we good? I mean, you ain't going you ain't gonna to be allowed in this family. Man. You really think in 2024? I don't think that we knew how big it was what we were doing. Marcel and I realized that it's going to be another two to three years. Fix up the house, then move back. I associate anybody at this table's desire to be paid for this event as greed. I ain't asking for money. Money ain't what I'm asking for. I'm asking for it to call it what it is, and it's a comeback initiative. You slap the under new management name on it and make it sound pretty, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Well, I, I agree with Kimmy that this is actually our idea. This is the our idea. The confused a little bit. No, I'm not. Y'all just recycling our idea. I don't care who I This tell. is our idea. The reason why we chose the Black Expo is because once we put something under the comeback group, everything seems dysfunctional. Maybe That's we not can, true. It's been, Marcel, please. you were the biggest dysfunction of the group. And th that makes it dysfunctional. And, and still, that makes you it dysfunctional. were the biggest And that makes it dysfunctional. And that makes it dysfunctional. Mel has clearly expressed that she doesn't want to be in the comeback group several times. We're the one who, you know, wanted to dissolve it and not be in. No. I do not mind if we, all six of us, choose to say, hey, this is a comeback initiative. But what I do want is all six of us there. To me, that's the synergy. I know we're talking a lot about writers, fees, and things like that, but do we even have a, or do you all have a date? Yes, we have a date. March 8th is the date. Damn, I'm booked. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Let us know now. Let us know now. If you're booked and you can't do it. Are you actually gone? So I really do think I do, because I'm doing some openings for Eric Bellinger. Mel, you, you have uh, technology, right? She can do it. Mm -hmm. Tisha, when you first sat down, despite all the good energy that you was feeling that was going on and this, that, and the other, you came out like a baby bulldog, like on some, so we're not gonna pay anybody. And it was very much so closed, that's it, end of the discussion. Now he mentions, well, if she's not in town, hey, maybe she, if since you, you want everybody to be a part of it, maybe she can do that, da, 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 da. And it's like, no, we're not doing that. It's feeling as if you're closed-minded right now. I think Tisha don't want to be here tonight, and we if might just postpone this If I don't want to be here, I can meeting. get up and walk away. Tisha wants to be here. You ain't no kidding. It's just a frustration. It's frustrating. And that's why I'm trying to move it. It should be better, but y'all, 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 the vibe and energy and the mood <laughs> that's going on in this meeting right now is some of the reason as to why I'm not really interested in joining and being a part of the expo. And then on top of that, the potential of being in any shape, form, or fashion in business with my ex-husband is another reason I'm one foot out the door. Is this something that everybody wants to do? In your heart, do you want to do it? We need to collectively come up with something that we can all buy in so that it doesn't feel like they're just, we're just participating. And this needs to feel like it's our idea. Now, let me say this. <clears throat> it just seems like, <laughs> okay, how many of y'all believe that Melanie would be a part of this if it wasn't for the show? A show of hands. I don't. If she wasn't on this show, she wouldn't even be on the she wouldn't even be in this meeting right now. Because she don't want no parts of uh, you know, Martel, and she don't want no parts of 
the comeback group. So why is she even getting screen time right now? It's all because of the show, which is the part that, you know, makes it less authentic. I mean, they keep talking about this comeback group. Um, they ain't came back yet. They don't, <clears throat> they don't know how to all come back. It can't really come back because uh, in order for the comeback group to be complete, you would have to have Martell and and um, uh, y- y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, you would have to have them come together. And <clears throat> clearly she don't want to do that. She don't want to come back with Martell. So it can never really come back to its old form. What they're going to have to do is figure out and reconstruct what the comeback group is and who's involved because um, it's just, it's never going to be what it was. And they, they need to realize that they, uh, I heard one of the, seen one of the commenters said that, you know, um, (laughs) they they actually asked me to skip this, this, this uh, show um we'll see what happens i may end up skipping it i I don't know um because i am kind of getting into it in the mid middle of the season i don't really like to do that but um i just thought i'd give it a shot anyway but if 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 melanie don't want to be nowhere near martell They, this is not going to work. So what they have to do is say, look, here is the new uh, reconstructed uh, comeback group. Who's all in? Show of hands. Okay. Everybody who raised their hand, they in it. Everybody who don't raise their hand, they not in it. And it's really as simple as that. Okay. For all those people who raised your hand, we're going to have a meeting every Thursday, whatever. And we're going to talk about coming back. But what makes it feel um, that is not authentic is that they got to give Melanie screen time. See, I think this is more of about, you know, TV time and screen time than it is about because Melanie give ratings. Okay. Uh, like I said, she has a large support group, uh, largely a lot of, you know, black women and ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that she has that support group to really, uh, get viewers and which is another part of her success. It, you know, some, I heard some people say, uh, uh, probably the same person said that, Melanie is a genius at marketing and all this. <clears throat> she may be she may be pretty good at at marketing and I I give her that, but don't tell me that the TV ain't <laughs> helping her out tremendously and and the, and the fans and the sympathy uh that she gets from other ladies, all that stuff is helping her out tremendously. Uh let me give you an example like um <clears throat> like I don't know if y'all remember right but Patty LaBelle has some sweet potato pies right Patty LaBelle sweet potato pies it was at the grocery store and everything right you know those pies is selling because Patty name was on it and she she was her celebrity was selling those pies you know you know marketing is is best when it's done with celebrities that's why they get celebrities to uh, push products and Melanie is a bit of a celebrity so is she a marketing genius or is she just a beneficiary of her celebrity I don't know um, I think I think she's a beneficiary of her celebrity I don't think it's, it's all that genius but uh, I'm not knocking her but I'm just saying that let's not pretend like that's not helping with with all of her success and she's still the one who wants to get paid out of this meeting or, or get paid out of this uh, contribution. 
Um, it is what it is. I'm not going to knock people for trying to get, get their paper, especially if they go and do it through a divorce. I know how that can be. <clears throat> but with all of the success that she has, she probably have more success than at least um, she probably have more success than anybody on the show. And she probably have more support than anybody on this show. So, you know, one could argue it's greed. One could argue it's justified. I mean, if her, her if her star is that high in the sky and she's bringing viewers and she's she's the draw, then why not she profit from that? And I get that too. I get that too. So I guess I can't knock the hustle. Um, but I can't help but to think the reason why uh, she's even being seen right now is because they need her to do some TV time, which is kind of whack to me. Um, all that being said, let's go in. So, Maurice, are you saying unless it's six people that you're not going to be involved? If we're talking about comeback group, we can do it. All right, so we understand that you want everyone's involvement. You said you wanted that the, it to be a comeback initiative. You're involved up and down, but you'd like to still see the, com the compensa compensation package just in case there is one. <clears throat> I mean, if, it, if it's one, of course. If it's one, yeah. okay. And Mel, will you participate and speak at the event in person? I'm not sure. To be very honest and clear, a lot of things have happened where I kind of feel like us, me doing something with all of us, I got to warm up to that. Like it's baby steps. You wow. can't just steps. But this is the baby steps. This is the baby steps. What's the thing right here and then and doing take this? A jump. And I said, I'm willing to do baby steps and get to. We're not talking about like a hood party. We're just talking about talking to people. This so, can be less intermingled than right here. So those are your feelings and these are mine. And that's where I am. And I'm being super transparent and honest. Honestly, babe. I'm okay with losing Melody. That's not gonna work because if we lose Mel, then we're not gonna have Maurice. And it's like everybody or nobody. Yeah, Reese is so passionate about this, man. I feel like he can ruin it for everybody. So you gonna email everybody? I don't even know what to email y'all at this point. I'm gonna have to pray about this. How you doing? Come on, body! <laughs> With everything that's going on in my life, I really feel like I need to cut loose, have some downtime. So I figured I'd take a pole dancing class. Of course, I'm gonna invite my ride or die, Mel Fletcher. Hey, Hello. Miss Mel! <laughs> oh, 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 girl. I'm gonna drop my phone, girl. What's up? Hey, that body right there, make you drop a phone. Oh, I you my phone. Oh, what you doing? <laughs> Mel, you joking, yeah, right? Ain't playing. I think uh, look now, you. <laughs> yes. Honey. Look, what you trying to do? Make me break my neck? The thing about Miss Neil that has kept her a part of my inner circle, she has continuously shown her ability, you know, to be loyal, to be honest with me. Doesn't mean we always agree, but I don't question whether or not um, her heart is pure when it comes to me. Get on the pole. What you about right now? Now, Mel, I don't know nothing about no pole now. Man, we about to, girl, we about to get up here on this pole. <laughs> the first thing I want to show y'all is a leg wave. So the leg waves are going to be ripped. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to get it. So I'm usually stronger with my right leg. So you can choose whichever leg you want. Now, with the leg waves, we lift, and you want to start rolling. It's almost like a hip roll. OK. It's and moving. <laughs> There you go. Mm, mm, mm. That's all I got to say. I'm talking about the instructor. Uh, the instructor most likely is a ex-stripper or stripper. Okay. Yes. This is going to be a simple <laughs> beginner's drop. So we're going to sexually open. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I need a pole in the house now. Yes. 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 It was fun. <laughs> it 
Let me tell you something. Miss Nell, she got up there, honey, showed that those legs still move, and she know how to have that sex appeal going on. It was a lot of fun. This is exactly what I needed. We got to get this routine down. Ain't you going to do it tonight? Yeah, what I'm doing tonight? What about what you've been doing? How was, how was your Valentine's? My Valentine's? Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> okay, let me say this. All right. I find it very interesting, man. Okay, okay, let me let me take it back. <clears throat> let me take it back to season one or two, okay? Martel was complaining about not getting enough loving from Mel, right? He was complaining, you know, she was all, she was kind of stiff, even though they was having kids, 50 going north. He was complaining that the bedroom action wasn't the best, from what I remember, in the first two seasons, okay? Which is kind of why he kind of was on his way to, you know, checking out other chicks and, you know, cheating, for the most part. Um, Which is trash, by the way. He shouldn't be cheating. But, you know he was saying that she just was too almost like she was too corporate in the bedroom she wasn't letting loose she wasn't giving him what he needed you know <clears throat> I often find it interesting when it seems like it seems like to me that <clears throat> when women break up with men they jump off the porch it's happened to me. It's happened to me. They jump off the porch. What do I mean? Well, what I mean by that is then they want to try pole dancing. Then they want to try all this freaky deaky stuff and all of this alluring they man. Like, is she trying? Is she learning this for her new dude? That's what I want to know. What? What 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 motivated you, Mel, to start trying to do stripper dances and and and, and pole dances now? Cause you got a new man. Like, why wasn't you doing that for your old man? Like, if you was doing stuff like that for your old man, you would probably still be in a happy marriage. Again, <laughs> it's happened to me. Broke up with somebody. Next thing, it was all corporate and church in the, in the in the bedroom and then when they you know when we broke up they jumped off the porch you know it's like it, are you doing that to try to help yourself get over me or are you doing this to try to find yourself or you you taking in all all the stuff that I was complaining about and now you want to fix it now that we broke up it's like why didn't you do that stuff when we were together? It would have fixed all of our problems. It's just frustrating. It is for me. I know it is for other men. And look, to be fair, it's not just women who do it. It's men who do that too. You know, they don't, they won't do certain stuff for their ex-girlfriend, but then when they get a new girlfriend, then this one not he didn't want to get married the whole time he was with you but now that he with this new girl now he want to get married now he want to open doors and and this that it, it's just it's, it's people can be whack sometimes <laughs> oh my goodness i'm done ranting y'all let's go in i had a great i had a great valentine what did y'all do uh no, we had yours? a little romantic dinner. Now, what did you do? Because I seen you on Instagram. Yeah. What did I do? Mm -hmm. I had a great Valentine's. Who was you at, Mrs.? Out of the country. Out of the country. Out of the country. Out of the country with who? I seen an orc. That MJ should stay with, over there with me. There's a time factor that I can manage it, but in my mind, I got it set up how, how I was going to do it. No, you're going to be staying here. Mm -hmm. Everything I had on my list, he literally hits everything and more. So do you think this is your prince? But all the stuff that Stormy have done to you, for you not to be there and have her back, 
That that was strange for me. That was strange. May I, I speak? speak? Yes. Who business is this? It's yours or is it dead? That was your Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> you got millimeters. Lord knows they want to know. Miss Nell knows me well enough to know that I say as much as I want to say, and I don't say what I don't want to say. I trust Nell enough, you know, to spill one bean. Maybe not all the beans, but I give her one little bean. <laughs> <laughs> I seen you on Instagram. I seen an arm. I seen an arm. What are you doing? <laughs> um, at that time, I think in the back of the vehicle headed to the resort. Oh, he had an arm out. He must be special. He's he special. is. Mm -hmm. He is, actually. There was like in any type of personal anything with him. I used to post protector, professor, mm -hmm. and provider. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even know how big protection was for me and feeling safe. Wow. I didn't know that, just being honest, I didn't even know that I hadn't had that for years prior to leaving my marriage, wow. that I was not protected. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't realize that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Your husband or your mate, right, is supposed to be the person that you can trust the most. And when I found out that I was literally sleeping with the enemy, that was a hit. But fortunately, <laughs> I'm in a situation currently where I don't have that issue. Everything I had on my list he literally hits everything and more. And that sometimes blows me away. Sometimes I find myself in tears, like I can't believe it. Like, it's just, it blows me away sometimes because I didn't think it would happen as quickly as it happened, like from the moment of me manifesting it to ta-da. So yeah. do you think this is your prince? I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always make sure I'm good, checks on me all the time. Do I need mm -hmm. anything, anything I can do for you? That's another thing, <laughs> is the next guy is always um, <clears throat> uh, I would say probably over exaggerated on how good he is. And, and let me say, this is now, let, let me be clear, I'm not calling her this, I'm not calling Mel this. OK, but oftentimes what happens with narcissistic people is that they they will um, put down and tarnish the reputation of their ex and they will blow up and exaggerate the next it's 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 a it's a weird thing again i'm not saying that she's a narcissist but narcissists are known to do this they'll they'll um there's a term for it i can't remember the term for it but they'll uh pretty much crap on their exes okay and the next person up is just so wonderful they found them in the clouds and all the heavens open up with their when they're with them they're so wonderful they're so great and it's almost as if like like oh my goodness i i just opened up a whole new life and and it's so amazing now it could be amazing it could be amazing but it ain't nobody perfect but a lot of times people will make that next person look perfect you see what i'm saying and A person like me is waiting for the shoe to drop because ain't nobody perfect why are you giving me all of the the roses and the and the, and this that and the third you making it sound like some kind of fantasy now she could be getting a lot of stuff that she wasn't getting in her last relationship could very well be the case but Oftentimes, when people like blow up the their their next person, that just gives you a measure on how hurt they was by their ex. So 
if they wasn't really hurt by their ex that much, they're probably not going to blow up their necks that much. But if they were really hurt by their ex, they're going to blow up and exaggerate their necks. That's what I find. That's what I find. Um, put it in the comments. What do y'all think about that? That theory I got. Anyway, let's go back in. Are you okay? Am I gonna meet him? Hey, maybe. Not right now. So we, we, don't, we don't even know his name right now. We don't get none of that. Oh, no. No. Mm -hmm. People probably won't know until, you know, I announce that I'm married. <laughs> he probably an NBA player or NFL player. I think he's probably a guy who's a baseball player. He's probably a guy who's uh, already famous. And that's probably why she's keeping it a secret because he's already known. That's my guess. That's my guess. He's probably already known and don't want to really be, um, you know, if because if they make it public, then it'll really be a big to do. So let's keep it hush hush because we both kind of out in these streets. We both kind of semi famous or something, you know. So um, that's why I think the real reason she's keeping it a secret because if he was a, really a nobody, I don't see the point in hiding them like okay they could look at him and still not know who he is but you can't do that with a celebrity right so I think she's with a basketball player or, or a football player or a baseball player that's what I think anyway let's go in <laughs> you know what <laughs> are you that's serious how y'all will find out you said till you married. That's probably what it'll be, girl. You know, just the uh, ta-da! It's pretty amazing. When I'm loving it for you and I'm happy for you. Thank you. And you deserve it. I'm kind of trying to stay away from a lot of any any negativity or if the vibe ain't feeling like it's right. Right. I ain't really here for it. So speaking of business and stuff, you know, Tisha and Marcel are doing market or advertise their businesses, like black businesses, and um, do a panel or in speakers and all of that. They wanted the original sits, the comeback group, so to speak, to be a part. Right. And so I told them for me, my comfortability is I don't mind sharing input, but it's a lot that has transpired. And you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not gonna act like there's not a track record. With the Scots and Martell, it's just a lot of bad blood over the years. I don't really have a desire to go back into business with the comeback group. However, I don't mind giving suggestions, ideas when I'm available to. <laughs> Even Beyonce left Destiny's Child. I understand steps that I'm willing to give. Honestly, there are some things that only time can heal. Yeah, we knew too, so. mm -hmm. Hey guys, oh, come on in. Scott Manor is gonna take longer than expected. So we was like, we just need to make our current home a little bit more comfortable. So while Marceau and his team work on the renovation, me and the fam, we're going to. And apparently it's been a lot longer, so we ain't gotta live like this. So we're just gonna move and flip it up and get more comfortable for the time being. Well, we'll start here. So okay. this is our Mercury floor plan. It's a three bedroom, two bath. It's a little over 2,000 square feet. We were looking for something six months or less. Sure. We don't plan on cool. being here. You've got a nice walk-in closet. <laughs> it's better than what we have. <laughs> And I'm gonna step out, let you guys talk, and okay. um, again, if you need anything, just let me know. Okay, okay. You should stay we're over there with me. Why would you stay there? I'm trying to get this stuff done, T. There's a time factor that I can manage it, but in my mind, I got it set up how, how I was gonna do it. No, you're gonna be staying here. Mm -hmm. You remember that time you went out of town for Mother's Day? Yes. And I redid the be bedroom? Mm-hmm, I do. Do you know how I did that? 
throughout the night? Just working all night. Where I had two jobs, working in apartments, working at the theater. I had, we had departments, we had the houses, and I'd come home at night and put in the work. When we said we we're going to do your office in the beginning, mm -hmm. who was doing it? Me and MJ. You and MJ's not going to have a bachelor pad. His dad is not a bachelor pad. I don't know what you call it. It's not a bachelor pad. Well, you can call it at home. And we're not going to even. And we're not going to even give him that direction. Me? Like me and my dad staying here, then my mom and my sisters are staying there, the other house because we're renovating here. Like no, sir, we're a family. We he stay should. together under one roof because we're a family. When I was working in your office till one, two in the morning, am I living there? When I go back at five in the morning after three hours of sleep, am I living there? No, T, I'm not. I'm doing this as a sacrifice. Can you just listen for a second? I'm listening to you, Marceau. Yeah, but you're rolling your eyes. Because you said the same thing that I heard 10 minutes ago. Do you know that's, that's a little rude, right? I mean... I'm not trying to be rude. Okay, well then, can you hear it twice? Okay. Because I don't feel like you heard it. <clears throat> This is frustrating me just like the other day. <laughs> okay, so if this is frustrating you. Yes. Imagine how much it's frustrating me. Think about like this. Think about how you felt the other day, mm -hmm. right? When we were in the comeback group meeting and you were talking and you were trying to just get this out right here and Maurice and Mel were like, trying to say, hey, listen, I had a plan that I thought that could work. I'm doing it for the benefit of everybody. And all of a sudden, boom, you're frustrated. That's how I feel. I understand. No, you don't understand. I do understand, I don't but some things we're just not going to, not going to bend on. You can do the labor. You can get your butt in the car and skip it all down the road and come here and go to sleep. That's all we're saying. Nothing has changed. Everything else is the same. All right. Okay? Just making sure we're very clear on that. Marcel got me all the way messed up. This is not going to happen. Our family, we're family. So we're all going to be under one roof. Period. So I'll tell you what, I'm done. I can tell you right now that that labor cost is gonna come from allowance, both of ours. So okay. you, you want me here, you gotta pay for it. You gotta pay for it. We'll both pay for it. Okay. So we'll both give up something in order to get this right here, this relationship. Okay, Marcel. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Everything good with you and Storm with him? Yeah. We just got rid of Storm because of well, he's like my brother, you know what I'm saying? He treat, I treat him like my little brother. Mm. I'm so used to the male when we have business meetings, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna talk, you're gonna, you're a leader. All the conversation ends up being about Melody and is she going to... Let me say this first. Uh... I really like her as a wife. I really, 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 really like her. Uh, I wouldn't say she's the best wife on the show, but because I like Kimmy too. Um, but she probably is the best. Well, Kimmy's not really a wife, I don't think, but she is the best wife on the show. Um, her wanting her man under the same roof, I totally understand. I totally understand. Okay, look, <laughs> you've been uh, you've been uh, you know accused of some 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 creeping yourself, bruh. So um, to eliminate all of that, you're gonna stay here with us, and ain't gonna be no bachelor pad, ain't gonna be no you know you can you know invite no other chicks over our new house and y'all christening in the crib before we get over there no none of that um not to say he still can't do that but it's i i can totally understand her taking a stand on him coming home and being with the family we are a family that's one thing that i would never knock a woman for wanting us to be a unit and us to be a family uh she put her foot down on that i'm probably gonna give in um you know because at the end of the day that's what it's about it's all it's all about family so um with some considerations obviously but um at the same in this situation i can totally understand why she wants them to be together Nah, you ain't gonna be over there by yourself. 
You ain't gonna have no bachelor pad. You ain't gonna be sleeping over there. Uh, you are going to be under this roof. So uh, kudos to her for that, standing that ground. I, I kind of, I get that. And like I said, if if that's one that's one of the situations where my my woman will probably win all the time if if that was uh, our situation it, because um, at the end of the day nothing comes before the family and moving like a family let's go back in <laughs> Yo, you on, boss? How you? What, what you got going on in here? How you? Just framing some stuff, huh? Everything good? You ain't wasting no time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. How you been? Can't complain. You ain't wasting no time. Oh, no. Nah. It's going to be on the part of black. No, no, no. This is, uh, we got a barbershop, upscale barbershop coming. So, oh, you just showing up. Your barbershop? You going to have nah, a barbershop? Nah, man, you know. <laughs> you bald head. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, nah. nah, I got to you know, we just run a space. So you said B? It's an acronym for becoming enlightened and mature. We basically want to just run with that that mantra, that mindset uh, with anything that we do, whether it's a barbershop or whatever business venture that we decide to pursue, we want to make sure that we leave it better than we found it. I love the idea of an upscale barbershop here in this plaza. It's like a certain type of vibe that we want over here. So I yeah, so I think it's going to be a good synergy. When we originally started, we had four spaces at Uptown. Now with Beam, the barbershop coming in, we're down to one space left to rent, and we're happy because we're in conversation with Slutty V. I love the way this is all coming together, not just for the stability of my family. Operation wall right here. TG gonna put our real estate office on the other side. Everything good, Gina Storm, though? Yeah. You know, I don't talk about a lot of biz with people, right, right. but what you think about as far as working with a family member with, like, Jalen? It really depends on like the character, you know character, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like my, my biggest thing is like, it's like the trust. Mm-hmm. Like if I can trust you and I can trust your effort, then I'm with you. Yeah, you know, I gotta, we could just get rid of Stormy Cousin, you know what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. You know, Stormy Cousin? It was Stormy Cousin. What happened? I see the man just not doing no work. Coming to work late, coming when he want to. Yeah. It seemed like every time I walked through the door, he was on his phone, he had nothing. How Stormy feel about it? I think she a little sad just because you know, they had they had a real close. That's her first cousin, so they was real tight. We put music he, together. Did she feel on board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he knew him for a while before yeah. he started working with you, right? Yeah, but he's like my brother. You know what I'm saying? He, he treat, I treat him like my little brother. Man, I done fired my brother. I done fired my younger brother. I done fired Reese before. For real? Yeah, dog. So why you had to fire Maurice? Because he didn't like he a hard worker from on that basketball court. Reese a hard worker, but he was stressing because he had his wedding to plan for. Mm-hmm. His first his first marriage. So he was stressing and he was stressing me out. And I'm like, nah, bro, that's your stress. You know what I'm saying? Anybody tell you to jump out here and get married at 23? My livelihood and when it comes to just doing things that are right for the business. Working with family can be a challenge, and that's why I really don't envy. Stormy and Courtney in this position because they're up against some challenges. Family, friends, too. I, you got to separate business because even when it comes to like my mother in law, just working with family, working with people in general, man, it's just sometimes to me it's just tough. Yeah, it's a it, headache. Yeah, it's a headache. How's the relationship now? I don't know. I ain't heard from him. Dang. Man, we, man. we used to talking every day. Now we're at the point where we ain't talk. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's a tough one, bro. I'm about to fix something. All right. Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It was just months ago. None of us were on the same page, exactly. and it was a lot being seen. Even for me, like, being around Martell, I ain't right. even trying to do that for real. Stormy took the time out to pay $15,000 for your son to get out of jail. That's right. The last meeting did not go well, so I wanted some money. There's something deeper going on with Mel. I feel like maybe she just don't want to be a part of it and she's making up excuses. And you can just say, no, I'm okay with that. 
But I don't like it when you make up excuses. You can just say, listen, Tisha, I don't want to be a part of it. And I can be like, okay. Hey, Tisha. How you doing? Yeah, how you Good. doing? You enjoying this windy day? <laughs> listen. <laughs> I was outside and I felt like the car was wanting to shake. The school out, they didn't cancel school. I know. Mila was like, "Mommy, I'm scared." How are they doing? They doing good. good. Yes, that's How are good. Girls? They doing good. They were their dad this week, so oh, but yeah, boy. doing this for three years. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, it was hard at first when you're used to having your kids, seeing mm -hmm, them every mm -hmm. day. Um, but then, you know, it is what it is. That's good. That week off, I don't even know how I feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to go into full detail with Tisha about the custody situation because truth be told, if you haven't been in the situation before, most people don't understand if they've never been there. And I literally have an ongoing custody battle happening in real time. So, no, too much. It would take too much energy to try to explain. I wanted to talk to you because I felt like it I'll be really, really there. You was really? quiet a, a lot, yeah. Like, I'm so used to the mail when we have business meetings, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna talk, you're gonna, you're a leader. You're gonna give a lot more than I feel like what we've been getting from you, you know, at the meeting. Yeah, for me, it's kind of like twofold. One part of it is, I think that the last time that we were all meeting to do something together, we probably hadn't gone through as much as we've gone through today, right? Right. right. So we were probably all on much better terms. Mm -hmm. In this year of 2023, it's a whole lot more that has happened. Yes. So. Um, I'm not going to show up like the melody that showed up three years ago. All these people want me to be. People can't make you jump from zero to 10. Absolutely. Like, you got to let me do what I feel comfortable case. with until there. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't mean like, oh, well, because it's for the community, you should just jump head in. It was just months ago. None of us were on the same page, exactly. and it was a lot being said. Although you've done a whole bunch of evil things, you have a dark soul. Oh, but I feel dull. She is the true definition of the devil in sheep clothing. It's irrational wow. almost to expect months later because we're taking baby steps. Yeah. Now well, let's all come and do this thing together and be just okay. Like, I'm not. I mean, I respect that. Yeah, because I know you know. Everybody move at a different pace. I feel like we're both stepping out of our comfort zone and like, okay, mm -hmm. A couple of months ago, we would have never thought we'd be, you know, where, where right. we're at. I understand your position. I understand where you're coming from yeah. wholeheartedly. I feel like mm -hmm. the event is going to be great, and I know it would be more great if you was a part of it, along with the other, you know, five people. Mm -hmm. But we're not forcing anything. We're going to let it be. That. We're going to let it be. So The points Mel are making, they're valid points. I can respect whatever it is she's saying. However, it's not about us, it's about the community. And that's what I had to get to. I the purpose is really about. Our conversation is a lot different than the conversation I feel like when everybody's together. Okay. And I don't want it to be made about me, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Melody and is she going to, is she not, why not, and da da da. And it's like, mm -hmm. and even the trying to convince. I don't even want to hear all that. Like, I don't mind sharing ideas and like okay. in the in the back are you behind willing to the come scenes and support the event are you willing to be there okay mm -hmm. so maybe i have a performance out of state okay. so but maybe now, so if we here on the eighth and then they, they send us a picture of mel on vacation booed up someone be like you know what this helper <laughs> You gonna say, boot up. I really do have a performance on the night out of state. I do need you, if you're available, to come to look at the event center with us and let them know that you've decided that you like, no, I'm not gonna be a part of it this time. Hmm. Did you hear me? Mm -mm. <laughs> you heard me. I can't with you right now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna break this down to Maurice. He was like, it, is, it would never be the same if it's not like the six of us, you know, behind it. So I think that's where Reese was coming from with it. I'm gonna send you a video for Maurice. Let me give you my number. You Let cannot me put it in there for um, you. Give, send no video. Yes, I It seems like right now. And so we're gonna just keep it moving and see what the future holds. We're trying to face I'm gonna time face time now. you. No, we, I'm gonna send you a video. No, I need you to answer. Now I'm gonna do a video now. Okay, bye, girl. All right, you got I, the bill, right? I'll take care of the bill. That's right, man. That's the least I can do. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Please. <laughs>
Coming up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I got a question. You appreciate it because you no love in Maxwell's. Wait, that's what I don't want. No, that's what I don't want. Why y'all can't you come and say this? Hey, you want to know what I'm going to do? Hey, you want to I just find it funny, man, that um, Melanie is kind of funny. First, she she wants to get paid for the event, and if she ain't getting paid, she don't want to do it. I mean, she don't even want to pay for her own lunch and dinner. Like, what? She can't be struggling for cash. She probably got more than anybody. Why is she so tight? Why? You know, is it just me? It just seemed like she's real tight with money. Like, you know, you, you you eat your whole dinner. You don't want to pay for it. You expect Letitia to pay for it. Um, You want to get paid for the event. I mean, you probably, you probably got just as much money as anybody else there. Uh, you got multiple business going on. I know you just took a, you know, vacation out you know with your man in the Bahamas or somewhere he probably paid for that and um, I know you're going through this divorce and all that other stuff but she real tight with money it seemed like right now I don't know why she probably got just as much as anybody else maybe maybe I'm tripping I don't know let's go back in Stage and to clear any negative energy. We're gonna focus on positive conversations. I gave you the rundown from the jump that Junior shouldn't have been hired. Yeah. Friends and family, Mom, friends, family, and business. Have a no conversation me. with good energy. You already going up. Making the decision to part ways with Junior, with Canvas Beauty, it was like one of the hardest things I've ever done. We grew up really close, like to the point where we were like almost might as well be brother and sister. Somehow, some way, my mama had already told my Aunt Lisa and just emotional turmoil between my mom and her sister, my Aunt Lisa. And I really kind of wish like my Aunt Lisa could have learned about what happened between Junior and I another way. I know like in our family, like, you know, when stuff go left over here with, with us, like it can kind of trickle with y'all. So I didn't want to see that happen. But y'all already know now. I don't understand why you didn't feel it was necessary to tell me. Well, I was under the impression that Junior was going to tell you. So you found out from Mama. Yeah, your mom. She came to my house, OK, and we was talking. And she kept saying, appreciate her coming at me like that, telling me off guard. And I was like, off guard. Yeah, because I had no idea. She took it upon herself to turn around and say, you know, Junior don't work at the warehouse no more. He said something about Stormy, and I was about to whoop his butt. No. Who oh, brought whoop my butt? No, 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 no. That is not what was said. Dad, I whoop, you know me, Junior. I don't bite my tongue for sure. Uh, okay. I don't bite okay. my tongue. My thing is, I feel like the, all the stuff that Stormy have done for you, yeah. for you not to be there and have her back, but, um, I mean, Junior, think of all the times she have jumped up for you. But then to tell her when stuff was messing up in there that uh, you just an employee, you her cousin too. Yeah. Tell her. May I speak? Yes. Who business is this? It's yours or is it better? Say what you uh, want to uh, say. Say what you got to say. Say what you want to say. Say like. what you got to say. Me, I just wanted to be able to tell y'all. Like, how do you feel? feel about not hearing it from Junior. He is 29 years mm -hmm. old. I can't tell him what to do, and his auntie definitely can't tell him I'm what to do. I'm not telling him what when, to do. Well, why every time when you get mad with my child, you always be threatening the time. I, I need to whip his butt or I'm going to cuss him out. No, 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 no. Well, I said that I was pissed at how he treated my daughter. Stormy took the time out to pay $15,000. Who gives a Get your hands off of me. Take this mic off of me. No, right, no, 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 no. She has no right to talk about my child and what he did. Everybody is not perfect. She's not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Is she going to say that you went to jail one time? No. no, no did no. I ever say that? No. Every time we get together, I swear to God, this is what we don't want to happen like me and 
can't do your strikes. But y'all can't tell me these strikes. Can you please? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because she said you went to jail. But okay, what? bitch, I went to jail. Because y'all, I'm all right. I'm 18. I'm jail. You mad at somebody? You told they. Well, thank you, Elisa, for letting everybody know that I went to jail when I was 19. Oh, Lord. Hey, it's still a mug shot out there of me doing like this. I'm through! Get drank. Talk to me. Can you talk to your sister? No, talk to not me. your There's probably nothing worse than a sibling rivalry between old, old people. It's just, it's, it, 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 <laughs> it tears families apart. Um, you know, these women seem to be in competition with their kids. And my daughter is better than your son. That's why she had to bail him out. And, and, and how dare you talk about my son? Uh, you ain't this that you ain't his mama this that and the third she kind of she is kind of being a bit disrespectful to the the, the the son's mother um and i can see why she's getting real defensive about that like look don't be trying to you know yeah your your, your daughter did well for herself but don't be trying to crap on my son you know what i mean like you better than us and stuff you ain't better than us you know, um, and it seemed like, uh, the other mother of the girl, I believe it's Stormy or whatever this is, uh, she kind of sitting on a high horse a little bit, like, you know, propping herself up like nan nanny boo boo. I'm the, I'm the best, I'm the best one. I'm the best mother. I'm the best. I have the best child. I'm, you know, it's a lot of ego in, in, in this, uh, um, conversation in this argument. So, um, but the, the, the bad part about that is when they're this age, it can just rip families apart. They can never speak to each other again. I mean, I'm talking about literally never speak to each other again, take it to their grave. And that is a tragedy. I've seen that happen before too. siblings get into a beef and they take it to their grave. It's just, I don't know. Let's go back in. You just like to run your mouth. Am I lying though? Am I lying though? Why are you breaking it up? Why are you breaking it up? Why are you breaking it up? Hey, who talk to your sister? No, I'm not going to be fake with it. It ain't about being fake. Like, that's a No, no, no. Hearing them go back and forth, I'm realizing that, you know, this isn't by and with everyone else as well. You think airing everybody lunch drop is cool, but is all your clothes clean? I don't want to talk to you. Why you want to talk I to me? I don't, because you're just a condescending little prick. And this ain't even about wow. this. What's it about? I feel like you need to talk to Lisa. Blood don't have to be thicker than water. It don't. Sometimes you can cut blood off. I'm gonna go get a listen. Y'all, I'm gonna go get a listen. Hey, Lisa, please. No. Please stop. Mommy's evil. <laughs> Your mommy's evil. <laughs> You need to be in there. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You need to, you I, need no, to be I in don't. there because because she in there with Junior. And, and what she better up, leave him alone. It's, it's going somewhere. She may not be evil, but she got some evil ways, man. I mean, she she is very. Um, I mean, she just called the dude a condescending prick or something like. Why is you so? Why is you? What is wrong with you? Like, why is you uh, just spreading all of this? evil and hate and you know you sitting up on your high horse looking down on everybody like you better than everybody else like uh you know i i i wouldn't i wouldn't blame this woman if she just removed herself from the place um and just <clears throat> not continued with this conversation i'm not saying i i, I you know they shouldn't talk again but 
that other woman is going to have to humble herself, man. It's just too way too much ego. For what? Why you got so much ego? Why are you being so evil to your sister and to your nephew? Like, like you hate them. And then you say, uh, you can cut blood off. Like, maybe there's a backstory to them too that I just do not know. Because I don't know why she's so cutthroat with her own family. It's just ridiculous to me. Um, you can cut blood off. You ain't blood. Can't, you ain't got to be thicker than water. Uh, I won't say never, but rarely will I see men going at it like this. Uh, verbally. And taking... Uh, you know, I'm not saying they don't do it, but I'm saying, you know, at the next barbecue, they can dap it up and chop it up and drink a cold one with each other. Women can't do that, man. <laughs> it's just, it's, I mean, it, the emotions, it just, it, um, it digs deep and resentment is 10 times worse than what men do men men go on with their lives forget about it be like whatever dog i was drunk let's dap it up my bad you know you know I, you know i catch you on the next one women they take it to their grave man let's go back in you need to be explain it explain it i don't have to why not do so don't you gonna me something me. but can't don't explain it me your ass Leave my child alone. Make, leave, make, 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 I, I hope you appreciate this because I you're no longer my sister. Wait, that's what I don't want. No, that's what I don't want. That's what I don't want. Why y'all can't f*** have a conversation? No. Y'all trying to get along, We can't get along. Y'all making this f*** more for us. We can't get along. Y'all making it so hard for us. Lisa don't want her f*** to stay because she don't want her f*** to stay. You can't talk to the damn. She don't want her f*** to stay. You can't talk to the damn. 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 I love my mom and I love my Aunt Lisa and I really want to see them be able to come back together. I really feel like their relationship began to deteriorate when my grandfather got sick. It became this whole thing then about like which sibling would step up to the plate and help take care of the family. My mom took on the book after that because they were super like thick as thieves when Junior and I were growing up. and. I really want to see that change. So you're completely blindsided? Because I trusted you. You know how I feel and about Lisa, you. I, I cannot control what come out of mama's mouth. I, so whether you talk to mama eventually or talk to her now. I'm not talking to your mama ever again. This still a conversation. I, I'm not talking I to her ever again. I want y'all to get, again. this hard on me and Junior. I didn't grow up with no siblings. You are like my second mom. I know. I grew up like you that. Like my first you know child. what I'm saying? And when y'all sit up there and do all this arguing all this time. And I, I do it for you. When I ask I do it for you. But what I ask for both of y'all to do is just talk. And y'all never talk. She can can't talk for me. No, I can't talk to Betty. I don't want to ever talk to Betty yes, again. You do. No, it's I your don't. If no, I'm not story. If with me. It, it, it bothers me Story. so bad. It bothers me so bad to feel like I can do everything but make my family whole. <laughs> that can't happen. You know from seeing us that I always try to keep the peace. I've always done that. Betty says she's never wrong. And she thinks by getting loud and ghetto that that makes her right. And y'all asking me to forgive her over and always thinks that she can do and say whatever she wants to. She trying to act like my children ain't You do not play with my kids no matter what. 
Junior was wrong. Junior did his time. We all accept that, and that's and it should go on. There's no coming back from this. Can y'all please it. talk to me? Uh, Stormy, look at me. If I had to talk to her, you probably gonna be bailing both of us out of jail. Stormy, I, I love you to death, but when she was starting going left, you let her continue. I can't stop mama from that. Okay, well, about me and mine. No, And if, if no. I can't be a part of yours and Courtney no, and Chess life, no. I'm sorry. I love you, really? but I need you to take accountability. Next on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm please gonna talk to your sister. Stormy, sometimes you have to If you don't do that for me, can you do that? Just go hug her. How the f I'm gonna hug somebody that's walking off? Is it time for you to reassess relationships? What up, boy? What's up, what's good? Hi, you doing all right? Bye, bye. I've always wanted to be a positive influence for my brother, and he hasn't always been kind of where I can. Teach me, teach me some things. Yeah. Why do you look like this? Like what? I'm saying I'm looking at your face, and it doesn't look like you're receptive. You are? That's your receptive face? I mean, there's not really a face for that. Do you think that it's possible <laughs> he don't know what to do with those feelings? It could be, because you babied him a lot, and I'm asking him to grow up. I ain't gonna say nothing. Great, great uh, response, Kimmy. Uh, that is a great response. Don't say nothing. Don't get in the middle of it. Let the man raise the boy. I know that's your son, but let him raise him because he see he's being a little pampered, you know. Um, as far as Stormy and her family, uh there is some pain with stormy mother that's causing her to lash out i have no idea where that pain is coming from um maybe she resents uh her sister because she wasn't there to help with the the, the i guess the, the the care of their father when he was sick um, maybe it's how she treated her when she was young. Maybe she stole her man at one point. I don't know where, but she got a pain to the point where she don't care about hurting her sister feelings at all. Real sad, real pathetic. This is actually, um, this goes on in all families. I'm not going to say it's just black families, but. This goes on in all families. People say stupid stuff, uh, especially when they got one up. You know, she feel like her daughter is look like her daughter is pretty rich. Got a private lake in the backyard. Look like uh, Stormy is doing well for herself. So she got the golden child. So she, you know, she kind of she kind of bragging about it a little bit and and got her nose up in the air. I got the I got the golden child. What you got? You got a couple of felons, you know. What I mean, you got she had to bail your son out. Like we we good over here. Y'all y'all beneath us. That's how she kind of coming at her. Real whack to come at your sister like that, especially if your sister had a role in raising Stormy, which it sounds like she did. <sighs> Love and marriage Huntsville. I don't know y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if I should keep going or if I should just uh, cut this off right now. I'd be interested to know. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.